Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. It's time for another episode of Top of the Shop, the series where we take a look at the best builds on the Steam Workshop of the past week. And we've got some really cool creations today, so let's get started. First up, we've got the Formula Tank Project. Now, this was created by a French YouTuber who plays lots of scrap mechanic. His name is Gaming Skill. Last week, we checked out a really awesome modern miniature house. And this week, we've got this really awesome Formula Tank. So I guess it's kind of like a race tank of sorts. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description, though, to their YouTube channel. You guys should definitely check it out. Now, this thing looks like a Formula Tank tank. I bet you this thing goes really, really fast. Now you can see though, it does use the sci-fi mod pack, which has the tank tracks available, a really awesome addition. Uh, so how do we get in here? I think I read there is a switch on the bottom. Okay, there is a switch right here. Let's pop that down. Okay, nice and easy. And then I guess I'll just press the switch. There we go. Okay, we are now inside of the tank. Look, oh man, that's so cool. We were just looking in that little spot. So I'm going to crouch my way over to the seat. This looks like the pilot seat right here. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. So a really awesome feature in this tank is the fact that you can actually change the speed on the fly. If you press 1, you can see that that number goes up by 10 every time. And if we press 3, it goes down by 10. So you can actually go faster if you wanted to or slower if you wanted to. So I think the ideal spot is 50. So let's start with 50 here. Let's see what this is like. Oh man. Oh yeah. This is actually really cruising you know what i mean it's it's pretty fast it feels manageable anyway but let's see what happens okay let's bump it up to maybe 70 let's go up to 70 here okay this feels uh maybe it's a, a little bit faster it's kind of hard to tell now okay you know what let's blow this out of proportion here let's go all the way up to 120 we're gonna add 50 it doesn't really feel okay whoa it, wh okay it didn't feel like it was going any faster than before. Like, it seems like the acceleration is no different, uh, but it, it's probably more about the top speed than anything. Now, it seems like this is working way better in reverse. Now, one of the coolest features that this tank has is the fact that you can go in to like a low profile mode. Look at that. We are in low profile mode with the tank tracks. Uh, so now this just looks like a really mean looking race car with tank tracks. I absolutely love the design of it. It looks really, really cool. And there's only two mods. So if you are a fan like me of these new tank tracks, I highly suggest you check this build out. It is loads of fun and really fast. Next up, we've got the Eurocopter NH90 created by Jacka. Now, I have not made a vanilla helicopter in a long time. Now, this is all vanilla. I have no idea what it's going to be like. Uh, like I said, I've used to make them all the time. Uh, so we're going to see. This thing barely fits here. Now, looking at it closely, look at this, guys. This is made with a whole bunch of various parts. This isn't blocks being dragged. These are parts and pieces being placed uh, so I can appreciate the time-consuming effort that must have taken place when placing all of these and trying to get the right design. It looks so good. So I'm gonna assume we can get in to the helicopter from a different way here as well as the front. Okay, so there's the front cockpit. Let's see what is in the back storage here. Okay, look at that. We've got like a trolley system of parts. What the heck is going on? Okay, am I supposed to like delete those red blocks? Let's see, what does that do? Okay, that's the other side. Now there is a switch back here. Let's pop that open. Okay, so there we go. We have access to this, like, cart system of supplies. Now, I guess what we would do is break these blocks here. Let's just destroy them. There we go. Um, and maybe, we do we just leave them free-floating? I'm not sure if there's, like, a release mechanism or not, but we are going to leave that cart free-floating in the back there. Now, I haven't flown a vanilla helicopter in so long. All right, I think you have to tilt forward to get lift with this thing. So I'm going to try that. We're just going to tilt it forward here. It looks like we are slowly kind of going up, but I'm having a hard time getting any air right now. All right, I think I might have figured it out. I'm pressing W and 2 at the same time. Okay, W and 2 seems to be working. Okay, there we go. I'm going up. We've got our cart of supplies. Look at that. Cart of supplies in the back. I have no idea where I am going. Okay, we got to bring these supplies. I don't even know how to, how do I? Okay, there we go. I know where to bring the supplies. Right there on the top of the mountain. We've got some mountain relief on its way. All right, here we go. Coming in for a nice, smooth landing. We've got this supply cart ready to go. Nice and easy. Come on, drop it down. Nice and soft. Perfect. All right, there we go. We have landed. Let's crack that open. Uh-oh, no, I'm stuck. 
I'm stuck. And all I've got to do is open up the back door, the bay door right there, and we're gonna hop up into the front. Okay, whoa. The, the supplies have shifted to the front. Maybe, can I just hit this out? Okay, there we go. Let's hit that all the way out. And we've got our supplies on the top of the mountain. Oops, whoops. Yeah, we're gonna pretend that I didn't just flip over all of these critical supplies. Now moving on to the next creation, we are going to go from one helicopter to another. This is the helicopter Beluka created by Beluka Public. Uh, so this is another all vanilla build and I think it's pretty cool. It does feature like a Red Bull style paint job. Now this is another all vanilla build, um, so I'm not too sure how it's going to fly. Now I'm not sure if there's an interior. Okay, there is an interior, but it seems to be filled with a lot of essential parts and pieces. So we're gonna ignore that. Now this thing looks crazy. Look at the size of this thing. All right. Right there, I've turned some flashing lights on. Okay, that's actually quite appropriate. Um, ooh, look at that big spotlight on the bottom. Okay, there, finally, we've got the blade spinning. All right, I'm taking off. I, I don't know what I what's going on. How is this working? Okay, I've got f thrusters on on the inside. It's just going up and up. Do I press W to go back down? Wait, I don't, I don't understand. How do I go back down? Well, I'm just floating in space now. I don't even understand how this thing is being controlled. Is there like suspension glitches or something? I don't see any other thrusters activating at the moment, uh, which is kind of strange, but I mean, it is flying. Wait, oh boy, okay, I just accidentally deleted the pilot seat. I have deleted the pilot seat because I have a, a problem here, guys, where every now and then I get a glitch where um, I delete things randomly even while I'm in a seat. It doesn't make any sense. Um, this seat has no controls. Okay, maybe we can do this manually from right here. Uh-oh. Just turn off all the switches. Turn them all off and hop into the seat. We're still going up. How are we still going up right now? All right, well, I guess I'm gonna just have to do some extreme Red Bull stuff here, guys. I am going to hop out of this helicopter. There we go. I've made it. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the top there. I guess we're actually going right back to where we all started this episode. And, uh, yeah, so that's a weird helicopter. Um, it's, it's a strange one to fly, but it looks really cool. Now, the next creation is the KM07 Cop Edition. This was created by Kimo Effendi. Now, this is a really cool police car, and I believe this is also all vanilla as well. Man, just look at the sleek design of this bad boy. This thing looks so cool, and the fact that it is all vanilla is extremely impressive. So let's hop into the driver's seat right here. There we- okay, this is such a narrow window. Wow, look! at how narrow the viewing window is. Wow, okay, so this looks really cool though. It seems that this um, definitely is fast and it feels like it floats around as I'm driving it. Now maybe that's just because of the size, but I guess this car is just so easy to cruise around in right now. Like, I am not having any issues whatsoever avoiding obstacles and drifting around, taking on some really sweet turns here. Uh, now let's see though, I'm sure this must have, oh wow. That's a lot of buttons and switches for a cop car. Now let's see what we got. We got one. Nice! Listen to that! We've got the police sirens as well as the police lights. Two? Okay, two I guess just silences the sirens. Aw oh, man, look at those headlights. Look at the way the pipes block off some of that light to create an even more narrow spot for that. That is so cool. What the heck? Four opens up like this giant rear... I guess this would be like a rear engine sports car. Uh, so that's where the engine would be. It's awesome too, the car also has left and right blinkers so you can indicate your turns at an intersection. Man, I gotta say, this car has it all. It is so awesome and like I just, I think my favorite part is honestly uh, the back right here. Like looking at these various shapes, I don't even know what's going on. Is this, this must be like a glitch welded vehicle maybe? because there's no way this is vanilla, right? So this is definitely an amazing police car. It drives so well, it looks absolutely fantastic, and I think you guys should definitely check this out on the Steam Workshop. Next up, we've got the Mini Pan Jan Drum. Now, I had no idea what this was. Uh, so I went to Google, I looked it up, and a Pan Jan Drum is like an old school experimental World War II weapon, like explosive system that was being developed by the British. It's a very strange thing, but basically it's like a cartwheel system that rolls and then explodes on impact. Now, this was created by Comrade Nova. Now, I don't know exactly what to expect or what direction this is about to go in, so I'm gonna stand right here. 
And I guess I'm just gonna turn the switch on, and I think it should go and explode somewhere. So here we go in three, two, one, press the switch. All right, well that was rather anticlimactic, so let's try this switch here. Okay, there we go, it's going. It's rolling away. Whoa, don't come back towards me. Come on, okay, find your target, just find something. Please, find something. Okay, no, come back. Where did you go? Okay, it's coming back up here. It just climbed up and over the mountain. There it is. What's it doing? What is it doing? Okay, this... I thought this was supposed to explode at some point. Okay, was that not enough? Where? Okay, come on. Where? Panjandrum. You're supposed to explode. This is pretty disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. I really thought that this was gonna explode on something, but it's really just like a breakdancing wheel bot. Okay, wait. Where's it going? <gasps> How did that not blow it up? Okay, whoa, oh geez. Okay, I, I need to catch this thing. I need to catch it. I'm surprised it's even in the vicinity right now. I need to catch it. I feel like it, something might be, oh wait, there it goes. Wow, that took so long. Now, I wonder if there's a way to make this more reliable as an explosive. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna test it here, but I think the sensor is what triggers it maybe. Okay, no, maybe not. I think the sensor actually triggers the, uh, the, the, uh, thruster activation. So let's just try and, like, point this at something. All right, right at the tank here. Let's try this out. Okay, straight at it. There, it's a perfect hit. And it didn't blow up. I've got to find a way to make this more reliable. All right, so I've added three extra explosives. Maybe this might make it explode on contact. So let's try this again. There we go. It's rolling. Oh! It barely even made it. Okay, I have an idea. So I'm thinking if I put a single explosive on the back here, maybe it'll do like a full rotation into the tank and then explode. I don't know, this is just an experiment. So let's try it out. It rolled, it's on the tank. Oh, whoa, it blew up on that side. It went right over. Did it even do any damage? Doesn't look like it. Now here's a test with the explosive on the top instead of the back. Maybe it's gonna explode a little bit sooner. It's up and over. Oh, come on. All right, same thing, except we're gonna start a little farther back. Maybe it's gonna have a little more time. Oh, this is impossible. Another test, a little bit closer. Oh, there, finally, the Panjan drum. <laughs> it actually hit a target. So if you wanna use this as a weapon, it might not be the most reliable thing in your arsenal. Um, it's very random. It doesn't really want to hit its target, but I would love to see something that rolled like that and always detonated on contact. I think that would be amazing. All right, one more epic pan jan drum toss. I don't even know what you would call it, uh, but this one should be a guaranteed explosion no matter what. So here we go, big giant explosion. Oh, it was delayed, but it made it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at this helicopter blown up. You can see all of the parts and pieces. Wow, doesn't that look absolutely awesome? Isn't it interesting too that when you blow something up like this, it's almost like it brings out even more detail. <laughs> this looks so cool. So that is going to be today's episode of Top of the Shop. If you guys did enjoy these builds or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. If you guys want to tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.